In this lesson, let's talk about how to manage subtotals and grand totals. So here in this pivot table, we have uh, totals, or subtotals, sorry, next to the uh, parts category, the products category, and the tools category. Here are all the subtotals. And then we have a grand total column at the end, as well as a grand total row at the bottom. So in order for us to manage these, what you want to do is click anywhere in your pivot table and go to the design tab. On the design tab, you'll have two buttons and they start the tabs. One is subtotals, one is grand totals. If you click subtotals, we have an option as an example to say show all subtotals at the bottom of the group, which would be the reverse of what we're doing right now. So if I choose that, you notice the total disappear from up top. And now it says parts total, they're located there, products total located here, tools total, and so on. This isn't a bad way to look at some uh, pivot table reports. I find in this particular example, it look, makes it look a little bit too cluttered and, and complicated. Um, so if you click subtotals again, I could say shove totals. So show subtotals at the top of the group, or I can even turn them off entirely so they don't show up in my pivot table. I'm going to leave them uh, all the subtotals showing at the top of the group, <clears throat> which is the default. And then grand totals, you have similar options. You could say on for rows only, meaning I only want grand totals, a grand total essentially column. I could say on for columns only, meaning I don't get a grand total column, but I get a grand total row down at the bottom. And I could say off entirely, no grand totals, or on for both, and that can turn them on. So again, to recap, you click into the pivot table, over to the design tab, and the first two buttons are how you're going to be able to control subtotals as well as how grand totals display in your pivot tables.